A-10 Tournament Championship on the line. And if Rhodey were to win, you could make a case for the A-10, sending four teams, right? Temple, Xavier, GW, and Rhodey. Oh, absolutely. Rhodey would get the automatic bid. Temple is in. I believe that George Washington is in, and Xavier as well. Although Xavier, because their RPI is down in the 60s, will probably have a little bit of an uneasy selection Sunday. But they have beaten everybody in this conference and had some good non-conference wins. There you can see Xavier with an RPI of 63. If Rhode Island doesn't win this game, they're going to the NIT. Here we go. 40.4 on the game clock. 28. Shot clock. Broken Burroughs, Sanchez, Lai, Barnes, and Karcher for Temple. Vincent Murphy, Luther Clay, Odom, and Reynolds Dean for Rhode Island. And they want the ball in Sanchez's hands because he makes great decisions. Watch Rashid Broken Burrow coming off the stagger and also Karcher. Karcher down low. Gets Odom. Back to Karcher. Six on the shot clock. He's got to go. He's got five. Sanchez with two in the air. Won't go. Rebound. Lamar Odom with 10 seconds to go in a tie game. They need a timeout here. Timeout, Rhode Island. Rhodey with a chance to win the championship and win its way into the NCAA tournament. Big rebound by Lamar. Temple wanted to go to either Rashid Brokenborough or Mark Karcher down low. They ran a little misdirection. They finally got it in to Karcher, and he kicked it back out to Sanchez. That is a good look. You're not going to get much better of a look than that. It was wide open. He just missed it. And Rhode Island knows now they have got a chance to win, and Jim Herrick calling for a timeout so he can diagram a play. And Pepe Sanchez looking to the heavens. Dios mio. Sanchez three for 16 from the field. Couple options for Rhode Island now. Obviously, Lamar Odom, because of his ability not only to hit a perimeter shot, but to put it on the floor and break the defense down. Also, you have to watch for Preston Murphy. He is their best three-point shooter. Oh, consider this, Odom seven of 17. He's missed his last four. Murphy, 5 of 12 from the field for 13 points. 3 of 9 from long range. Odom's 2 of 8 from deep. Well, those percentages are, are neat for us, but I can tell you right now that Jim Herrick could care less about those. He's going to get that ball to Odom or Murphy. You bet. Don't forget, coming up after this fantastic finish, the Big East Championship. AT&T Big East Championship. It's number 9, St. John's, against number 3, UConn. Mike Tirico and Len Elmore standing by. Dave, the first order of business right now for Rhode Island is to inbound the ball. I doubt that Temple will pressure the inbounds pass, but they could, and Lamar Odom having another terrific game. And you got to remember, those numbers are in the third game in three days when these guys are absolutely exhausted. Keaton Sanders going to try to keep it away from Lamar Odom. He is the freshest player, probably the best overall athlete on this Temple basketball team hasn't played a whole lot of minutes and he's fresh. Johnny Gray letting them get set. Blows the whistle. Here we go. Good Odom. With four. Odom. 30 feet away. Jumper in the air. He's got it. Lamar Odom has won it for Rhode Island. What a NCAA selection committee determine their fate. Jim Herrick gets the ball to Lamar Odom, his superstar, and that was a shot under pressure by Keaton Sanders. Nothing but the bottom of the net. We've seen him struck it from long range, and what a big moment for Rhode Island. Odom, 21 points, 10 rebounds, three 
three of nine from three-point range, and this after missing his last four shots. What a job that Jim Herrick has done with this team. This was not a team you would have expected to be Atlantic 10 tournament champions at the beginning of the season, but they have matured into one tough group, and they are one hot team entering the big dance. For the first time, the University of Rhode Island is Atlantic 10 tournament conference champions. On one side, the jubilation. On the other side, the disappointment. Eric, they are in automatic bid to the 99 NCAA tournament. For Jay Billis, I'm Dave Sims. We enjoyed it. We hope you did, too. What a beauty. Coming up next, the Big East Championship from the Garden in New York City, Mike Tirico and Lynn Elmore. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the world wider leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. Chris Fowler, this was spectacular. Dave Hackler, 16th double-double of this season for Lamar Odom. He's a special player. You pointed out that was a deep NBA three. And that's deep probably NBA where he's going to be making a lot of money next year. Oh, yeah. The Rhode Island, 30 seconds from the final four last year before they let it slip away. Pretty much given up for dead unless they won three games in Philly. Well, I did their game January 23rd against George Washington, and they lost at home. And, and Jim Herrick was down after the game. We had a little talk, and we are picking each other's brain, and we just said, hey, it comes down to one guy. If you want to go for it, you're going to have to win the A-10 tournament. Lamar is the man. And he showed up for four straight games.